day three of Rocky Railway. It was so good to see you guys on Zoom this morning and talk about your God sightings. Slowly we're working our way to the end of the poster. Okay, today we're learning that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Okay, and you know what? I heard some great news this morning. Cam and the crew finally fixed the tracks. That means that they can deliver all of the M&Ms. Did I hear my name? Are you guys talking about me? Are you cheering for me? Well, yeah, we are. Are you excited to finally get the train down the mountain to make all your deliveries? Uh, yeah, uh, totally. Uh, can't wait. So excited. Um, uh, look, a squirrel. Um, Cam, where'd you, where'd you go? Are you hiding? Uh, uh, if I see a, if you see a train conductor coming, can you tell him I went, uh, oh, I went to water my lawn. Uh, it, there's still snow outside a little bit. Like, why are you hiding? You might as well come out and tell us about it. I'm pretty sure we're going to figure out what's going on. Uh, oh, you're, you're, you're right. Uh, maybe I should wear a disguise. All right. Woo! What do you think? Um, unless you're disguising yourself as a tree, it's not going to work. Just tell us what's going on. Well, the conductor pointed out that we're uh, before we go down the mountain, I have to go up and over a really steep mountain. So now he's trying to find me so that we can get rolling. Uh, you know, you know, full steam ahead. I thought that's what you wanted to do, delivering the M&Ms and all. Well, it is. Just, uh, I've never driven a train down, I've never driven a train down such a steep mountain before. You know, um, you know, I, I've gone up the hill, and, and I've been on flat plains, uh, around uh, crazy curvy bends over tall bridges, uh, but I'm, but I'm nervous about going up and then down such a steep mountain. Well, you know what? Doing new things can take courage and boldness. And that's why I'm glad I don't have to do those things alone because Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. You don't have to face it with your own power. You can trust the one that's strong enough to make the mountain. He's strong enough to help you get over it too. Well, that sounds nice, but I'm still nervous. Well, we might have a song that might give you the boldness to tackle this new challenge. They'll remind you that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! Okay, that might help a lot. Uh, I'll stick around for a while and sing. And, 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 uh, well, you re and remind me of Jesus' power. Uh, and then I'll go tell the conductor I'm ready to go. Thanks, guys. We believe in you, Cam. All right. Uh, I'm just going to step over here. Enjoy the song. See you later, Cam. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh.
faces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. will pull us through. Did you know that trains talk to each other? They communicate in their own way. It's called train speak. Three short blasts mean the train is backing up. That's what a train speak sounds like. Train whistles are big and bold because they have important messages to communicate. Sometimes God wants us to be bold too. Sometimes we have to stand up for what we believe. We have to say things that are unpopular. We need to share what we believe about Jesus, even though no one else feels the same way. Being bold can be hard, but Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's find out what today's buddy's name is. <laughs> Everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat! Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth. Or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you. 
cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sierra is a mountain lion, and she helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's stand and sing Everywhere I Go together. another story about another real kid just like you but before we get started I want to know how your week has been going yep well my week has been really interesting yeah I had a very good meal today with my friends which I really enjoyed and I'm pretty sure you also had a really good meals with your family and a lot of things that you talked around the table today we will get to meet Lauren who trusts Jesus to help her boldly share his love. Let's see how she does it. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is peaches. My brother's is Green Lantern. My sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in Community Kitchen, I tried it in California, and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom, and she found a place, and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day. It feels nice, and it feels like 
God want me to do this? Because it's important that people who don't have very much things, that we need to care for them. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table. Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that you have It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they're always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes, they need stuff and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold. I really like Lauren's story, didn't you? I thought she was really brave and bold for such a young girl. Sometimes stepping out and boldly showing Jesus' love can make us feel a little bit nervous. I think serving food in a community kitchen like Lauren does might make me a little nervous as well. What will be some great things about serving in a community kitchen? I think one of them will be meeting new people. Also, just looking at their faces, how happy they will be to have meal, a meal and just enjoy the yummy food. Meeting new people from that community who don't have enough to eat and learning new responsibilities might be a little scary, but being able to help people who are less fortunate will be great. Lauren, Lauren wanted to help, but it meant that she had to be bold and brave. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I get scared to do things out of my comfort zone, but after I do it, I feel really happy that I stepped out and I did it because I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for Jesus and for all the love that I have for Jesus. Sometimes we may feel weak or powerless to help others, but Jesus's power help us to be bold. Trust Jesus. In our Bibles, there is a verse that can remind us how Jesus gives us power. And that verse is found in Isaiah 40 verse 29. Isaiah 40 verse 29 says, he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. So I can wait how Jesus' power can help you to be bold right now and also in the future. There are many things you can do for people. You don't have to help them just with money. You can also help them like Lauren did by giving them food or just by sharing a story with them or just sharing uh, or just showing that you care for them. So right now, we can ask Jesus to help us be bold. So why don't, why don't you just pray with me? I want you to close your eyes or bow your head and repeat this after me. Dear Lord, <laughs> please give us power and strength to serve and show our faith in you. Thank you for helping us boldly live out our faith. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for coming to the Kidbit Cinema. And right now I want you to stand up 
So we can sing the power shuffle. Adventures. Today we'll be learning about how Peter and John teach about Jesus. The Bible verse for today is he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Isaiah 40 29. The Bible point is Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. So today's Bible story is found in the book of Acts and to experience what happened we're gonna travel to Jerusalem. <laughs> the story starts out with someone who can't walk. Back in the Bible times, there were no wheelchairs. Um, but today, most people who can't walk can live a full and productive life. Well, on that day in Jerusalem, something incredibly bold happened over by the temple gates. Every day, a man sat there. He'd never been able to walk. Not in the past 40 years had he ever taken a step or got up. Today, someone who can't walk can live a full, productive life. But here in Jerusalem, in this time, if you can't walk, it's hard to have a job. You can't be a fisherman, a carpenter, a potter, or even a priest. All this man could do was hold out his hands and ask people for money. Sometimes people would toss a coin to him, but plenty of times people would walk past without even glancing at him. It must have been a hard, hard life. Well, one day, two Christians named Peter and John were on their way to the temple. They stopped right in front of this man. They had something for him. And it was way better than what he expected. 
Peter said something really bold. I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. How would you compare Peter's gift to gold and silver? Why? So what happened when Peter boldly said that Jesus could heal the man? That man jumped up and praised God. So that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered, and that's when the second incredible bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and, was, and that Jesus died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus, and that made people in the crowd angry. See, not everyone in town was a fan of Jesus. Some people, including a lot of Jerusalem's leaders, thought Jesus was a liar. They thought Christians who talked about Jesus were liars. And that makes me wonder something. When is it hard or unpopular to for you to talk about Jesus? For me, sometimes it's hard and unpopular at work. Not always are people going to be wanting to hear about Jesus or what my faith has taught me, which is what God has taught me. Or sometimes praying in restaurants. It can feel a little weird when you get your food and you're about to thank God for it. But despite all those looks you might get, do it anyways. So, the leaders in Jerusalem got so mad at Peter and John that they told the guards to seize them and keep them in jail for the night. The leaders told Peter and John to quit talking about Jesus. Or else. So, how are you feeling about being bold now? Peter and John had a difficult decision to make. Stay quiet and be safe or keep talking about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble. So what's one thing you've heard about Jesus this week that you think people should know? Well, Peter and John thought they were things about Jesus that people everywhere should know too. They boldly told the leaders that they could not obey them instead of Jesus. They said, we're not gonna stop telling people what we've seen and heard. Wow, that's bold and they stood up and took a stand. Peter and John were so bold, it's like their bold had superpowers. Their boldness was so big and their message about Jesus was so powerful that the Bible says 5,000 men believed in Jesus that day. Wow, that doesn't even count women and children. If you are from Kindersley, that's like all of Kindersley believing in Jesus. So. That got me thinking. I know Jesus because someone boldly told me about Jesus. It was when I was four two weeks before my 14th birthday, actually, and I was at Luceland Bible Camp. And all week, the cabin leaders there were praying for me and pouring into my life so that I would get to know Jesus. And guess what happened? I got to know Jesus. So who boldly told you about Jesus? And who could you tell? So, Jesus' power made someone bold so that I could hear about Jesus. And Jesus' power can help you be bold too. Trust Jesus! So, back to Peter and John. The angry leaders threatened them and commanded them not to talk about Jesus anymore. Then, they let Peter and John go. The men went back to their Christian friends and told them everything that had happened. Do you know what their friends did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe, but you're surrounded by friends here who want to remind you that you never face anything alone. I'd like to pray for you. God knows what you need boldness in. Jesus, thank you for being here with us. It's comforting to know that we are never alone when we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, you're right beside us, giving us your strength, love, and boldness. We love you and thank you. In your name, Jesus, amen. Now it's time to stretch with Rochelle. Hi guys, welcome back. 
So I heard today that you were learning about Sierra the mountain lion. So I thought it would be fun to do some mountain lion stretches or some cat stretches. But first, I thought to warm up our bodies, let's stand up and we're gonna run as fast as we can on the spot, just in case we don't have a lot of space to run around. All right, here we go. Bend your knees. Ready, go. Run fast. Can you go faster? Keep going. Wow, you guys are really fast. And stop. Okay, we're gonna play a little game. So I'm gonna call in or out, and you're gonna run in or out. So feet in or feet out. Ready? Okay, we're gonna start off really slow. Out. In. Out. In. Go faster. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> Good job. Get your breath. Okay, so for stretches today, let's come to the end of our space. So kind of so that you have space in front of you. If you have a mat, you can use a mat too. All right, take a deep breath. Lift your arms up high. And we're going to roll through our back all the way to the floor. Good job. Once you get to the floor, let's walk our hands out to a straight line with our body. <laughs> Good. Okay, so like a cat, we're going to stretch our hips up, press our heels into the floor. Good job. Nice straight back and arms. Do you feel that stretching in your whole body? You guys kind of look like cats to me. Good, take two more breaths. Good job. Okay, let's take our knees to the floor, walk our hands back. So another stretch cats do is when they're scared, I guess it's not a stretch, but when cats are scared, they arch their back, right? Don't they? And sometimes they stretch back like this. Have you ever seen a cat do that? So we're gonna do a few of those. So let's lift our back up as high as we can to the ceiling, tuck your chin in, and then let's lift the opposite way. So lift your chin up really high. Let your belly drop to the floor. Good, two more. Breathe in and out. Good job, one more. Good, and then you can walk your hands forward and stretch back. Feel that stretch in your arms and your fingers and your shoulders. Awesome. Let's come back to our straight line with our body and we're gonna walk our hands back roll up through our spine and roll your shoulders at the top okay so that's all the stretches for today i'll see you guys tomorrow today we live trust we overcome take every chain that kept us slaves and throw them off we're not waiting for permission we defy our inhibition like our middle name is fearless son of red if we're gonna fly
Welcome back to the Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. I can't imagine all the discoveries we'll make today, but you know what comes first, right? I just have to ask, did you bring your imagination with you today? Good. So, our question for today is, which is stronger in a mountain lion? Does it have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? Think about it for a minute. Drum roll, please. Okay, and the answer is, mountain lions have a weak sense of smell, but they have very good hearing and powerful sense of hearing so they can hear everything. Can you imagine that? Speaking of power today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we, not, we, we may not feel very bold, especially when it comes to sharing our faith in Jesus. You've probably heard that phrase, practice what practice makes perfect, right? Well, we, we'll never be perfect, but practice can sure help us become bold. It's kind of like this. You take a little step, like praying before you have lunch at school. Maybe someone asks why you do that. So then you can say that you're thanking God for your food. Then maybe you can take another little step and say that you're really thankful to God for sending Jesus. So on and so on. Each bold step makes the next step a little easier. It's just a matter of momentum. Okay, so now it's time to introduce today's science, sciencey fun gizmo. Today we're going to use a bold blaster. This is our, we're starting with our bold blaster here. It's not very bold right now. Something seems to be missing. See when I drop it, it just kind of funks there, doesn't do anything. But I wonder what would happen if I add the power pack to it. I'm going to add the power pack. Now let's watch what happens. Woo! So our power pack moved quite a distance and our ball even went a little bit farther. That was amazing. That bold blaster really became bold. Did you see how high it jumped? Without Jesus in our lives, we're kind of like the blaster. That we're just kind of a dud. We don't do anything. But with Jesus, our boldness can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus! Now it's time to stand up and sing today's song, This Train is Bound for Glory. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train hey everybody 
and welcome back to day three of Rocky Wrap Up. I hope you had mountains of fun today. Today we discovered that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sierra is a mountain lion that sometimes likes to be quiet, but sometimes she boldly pounces. Hop up and pounce like a mountain lion in your space. Great job, everybody. Let's pull out our Sierra buddies and put her on our carabiners. Sometimes when you're shy, people say, cat's got your tongue. But Sierra helps us remember to be big and bold. Learning about trains has got me thinking. How do trains go through mountains and valleys? I created something here. These are our mountains and this is our valley. But we need a bridge, something for the train to go across. What if we just use a plain piece of paper? Let's try it. That didn't work. I don't think the paper is strong enough to hold our train. What if we tried folding it? I wonder if this would make it strong enough for our train. into three pieces. Let's see if this works. Look at that! It worked! Just a few small changes that we made to the paper made it bigger and stronger to hold the train. Maybe you don't feel strong or bold all the time like the paper, but God can give you boldness like when I fixed the paper. Jesus' power makes us bold. Trust Jesus. Thanks for making this train journey really rock. Let's get back together tomorrow for day four to learn more about God's power. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.